What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube family? All right, YouTube. Um, well, JP is gonna teach us or or how. Let get it out. Let's get it out. It's, it, it's coming. It's coming. Okay, JP. Okay, JP. It's going to tell us how to transition a rooster mm. to a hen. Okay, okay. This should be interesting. Is it like when you get raw chicken <laughs> and then you cook the chicken? No, nah, you actually um, uh, change the rooster to a hen when you boil the egg. Roosters can't have eggs. Yeah. If, if he's born in America, he can have eggs. <laughs> Anything's okay. Possible. So only anything is possible in America. in America. Okay, so only American chick, only American roosters, roosters can lay eggs. Yes. I got to see this one. You ready? They about to make you. He about to make you a believer. About to make you a believer. Yes, he is. Okay, he was, okay. Let's do it. I just want to indoctrinate you. Hi, I'm a scientist. I'm here to answer an important socially inclusive. Did he make this wig? Come on, baby. Let's keep it real. Question: Can this non-egg-laying rooster be convinced to convert into an egg-laying hen? But will we be successful? Let's start the four-step rooster transition process to find out. Step one. Education. We all know that traditional views of gender are based on nothing more than two things. The social constructs of Western colonialism, which are racist, and biology, which isn't real. So to help educate this rooster that gender is truly a choice and is rooted in the stone cold reality of figments of its imagination, I have to undo millions of years worth of constructive instinctual wisdom that are clouding its mind. <laughs> Hens aren't the only ones that lay eggs. Roosters lay eggs all the time. You can easily lay eggs. Would you like to lay an egg right now? You'll be a hero. Oh, you don't have the organs in your physiology that produce eggs? <laughs> That's got nothing to do with laying eggs. Literally anyone or anything can be a hen and lay eggs. Step two, coercion. Now gender is a personal choice and you can't have personal choice without coercion. So that's what we're gonna do here. It would be very inclusive of you to lay an egg. Being born a rooster and then staying a rooster is pretty toxic. Um, you not magically turning into a hen is really marginalizing very oppressed birds. And you don't want to do that, do you? All roosters who aren't biological hens do nothing but sit around and vote for Trump all day. I mean, could you imagine what he would do to our country? <laughs> you don't want to be one of them, do you? Step three. Indoctrination. Indoctrination is a medicine that works best when you start injecting it into victims at an early age. The older you- He said victims? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get, the more of a closed-minded bigot you become who's resistant to it. This rooster is still very young and therefore at an appropriate age to make an irreversible decision that'll affect the rest of its life. So I'll start an age-appropriate indoctrination process with it by performing a drag show for it. <laughs> Can we get these hens out of here? I think they're- Where's his wife? <laughs> when he is doing it. She doing the filming. Is she filming? She doing the filming. I'm trying to figure out how she keeping this camera straight. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, she, he making that money. Hey, he, <laughs> she he, she he, gonna make sure she get the he camera made straight. it in. <laughs> as long as she bring that money in, that camera gonna stay straight. <laughs> oh God, but I dropped it. <laughs> You're confusing they about what hens are. Nope. Let me abort that for you. You're welcome. Ooh. Step four: 
incentivizing. Now transitioning into something that you're physically not isn't easy, so susceptible minds have to be incentivized after they're educated, coerced, and indoctrinated. Do you know how brave roosters are that turn into hens? You'll be safe from social ridicule if you join this ridiculous group. If you join us, you can victimize yourself about anything. If you join us, you'll be able to easily land a job with the Biden administration. Like, maybe head of nuclear engineering or something. <laughs> you could really excel at swimming if you were on the hens team. And you wanna be a winner, don't you? Now that our gender fluidizing process of educating, coercing, indoctrinating, and incentivizing is complete, Let's see if we've been successful. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful hen over there. There are zero differences between it and any other hen. I can't tell the difference. Would you like to lay an egg now? Yeah, just go ahead and try. Just like push a little bit. Kind of like you're trying to poop, except push out an egg instead. Seriously, stop with all the hate and just lay an egg. Guys, I don't think it's working for some reason. All right, well, our unsuccessful scientific attempt to prove that roosters can become egg-laying hens proves that roosters who aren't hateful bigots can easily become egg-laying hens. I think this powerful proof will inspire other animals in the animal kingdom to stop subscribing to toxic gender-conforming norms and start conforming to our new abnormal gender-conforming norms. Because if they don't, I'll get rageful. And that's the root of good science. Hey, I want you to know I have all new freedom designs in my freedom line of merch only at awakenwithjp.com. And I swear I'm mentally stable. Hey there, my friend. Before you go, I would love to thank the sponsor of today's video, Bob. Speechless. I How did you find this? Well, it popped up. Um, it popped up. Okay. So the hen never laid an egg. No. He. It seemed like he tortured the hen. I don't think the hen would ever, ever be able to eat again or sleep. If Me they do so at this point. Oh. He's very confused. Uh. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Speechless. I'll let you out of flow. Go ahead. <laughs> you the one found the video. <laughs> I get the point. It was mm -hmm. it. When you gotta use hen and roosters. Okay. But the the rooster was a very good actor. Yeah. He was a very yeah. good actor. Yeah. I mean, he didn't lay the egg. Still. You said what? He didn't lay the egg. I thought you said he did. Did it? Okay. Then okay. we had a whole abortion on film. Was that was that legal? He aborted the egg. Yeah, I seen it. Was that legal? No. Uh -huh. Was that legal? Yeah, only in America. All right, YouTube, don't forget to like or subscribe.